This is my favorite recipe. I eat this all the time. It's a frittata. I love it on a Friday so that I can say I'm having a frittata Friday. So basically, this is a really easy recipe. Even I can do it. It's cheap and you can use bits and bobs from the fridge. You can kind of cobble something together. Basically, you need eggs, some kind of vegetable, some kind of meat and parmesan if you fancy it. I'm also doing some really lazy things like using this brilliant stuff which is egg whites because it kind of ups the protein without the fat. I know. Um, and also garlic paste because who has time to chop garlic? First of all, you fry the bacon. If I have to tell you how to fry bacon then we're in trouble. I'm using extra lean bacon because it's just a weekday lunch, it's not like a special fancy thing so I personally think that, you know, you don't really need all the extra fat all the time. <laughs> now the bacon is done, nice and crispy, shove it on the side, turn the heat down a little bit and then you get your garlic paste, just kind of splodge it around and then you get your spinach. Shove it on. You need quite a lot of spinach because it wilts down. Um, and also don't cook it too long so it goes all soggy and mushy because you're going to grill this later. Cut your bacon so that it's nice bacony bits. Next bit is the important bit, the eggy bit. I use probably about two eggs per person, but then just to give it a bit more volume, I use this um, egg white stuff. So then you go whiskey, 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 and then when that's done, shove in your egg, and then put on your bacon. I reckon if you were organised and you had all your ingredients, you didn't have to pop the shops, this would probably take 10 minutes, so I can go back to our frittata now. So it's got quite a nice solid ring around it. It's probably ready to go under the grill now. Shove that in. Leave that to cook for a few minutes. Quite like a bit of melted cheese on the top. If you've Parmesan, it's really strong, so you don't need that much. Just do it back under there for just one minute. The frittata is ready. Yeah, and that took, that entire thing took 10 minutes. And you've got this lovely, eggy, cakey thing now that's really healthy and delicious. Ta-da! There we go, a nice healthy lunch. Have it on a Friday, have a frittata Friday. Gosh, 10 minutes, done. Bit of cucumber, bit of tomato, bit of basil. Shove that all in there and then get some 